What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Chantel, also known as Miss Unbreakable Timeline. Whichever one you wants to call me is totally fine with me. So in this video, as you guys can probably tell by the title, I am doing the fall makeup look that was requested for my next video. You know, so I was like, let me go ahead and bring it because y'all know it is fall. And I wanted to bring more videos to, you know, keep bringing them fall looks. But in this video, I decided to do this nice fall look using Jackie Anna collaborated with Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the video you guys will see how I really feel about it you know so if you want to see how I feel about it then please keep on watching let's go ahead and get into the video Miss Unbreakable Timeline <laughs> guys so i stopped the voice over because i wanted to talk about this palette that i had for like a good three weeks to a month so the palette that i got and i know i'm the last person to review it but it's cool because we're here right now and we're going to go ahead and review this palette it is the jackie anna by anastasia beverly hills and if you guys do not know who jackie anna is she is a black influencer here on YouTube that does a lot of beauty videos and whatnot, whatnot. But she's pretty much like the OG of YouTube. And she finally collabed with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that's one reason why I got this palette was because this is Anastasia Beverly Hills' first time collabing with a woman of color YouTuber. So... I really, really, really wanted to get this palette because I never got an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette before. And once Jackie Anna came out with her palette, I was like, I have to go and purchase it. So I did. This palette runs about $45. And guys, look how beautiful this palette is on the outside. This is how the packaging looks. It's like a little holographic type of color thing going on here and on the back as you guys can tell it just has like all the ingredients and what this palette consists of so let's go ahead and open it like y'all for real once this palette came out and i've seen that she was collaborating with anastasia i hear a lot of good things about anastasia palettes anyways i just never purchased her palette Ugh, this package is so hard to open Alright, so I'm going to have to tear it open, y'all. This thing is so hard to get up out of here. Sis, do you want us to review this palette or not? Nah. Once you take it out the package, it has the same thing on her package. It has her initials with Anastasia Beverly Hills on it. And it has like a snake skin type of material patterning going on here. Once you open up the palette, this is how it looks. It has a nice size mirror to it. Um, I do wish like the mirror is a little bit bigger, but I can still work with it. And it has a sticker on it, which I am going to be removing once I do my eyeshadows. And look at the colors. The colors are so freaking beautiful. It also have a plastic on it. So once you remove the plastic, it has these different names. The names of each eyeshadow and she also has a blending brush down here which is perfect in the palette an extra blending brush is always good 
but as you could tell it has some like fall colors in there it has some pretty like spring a little spring colors going on maybe just like the this pink shade right here and a little bit of that purple but it also has some fall colors in there that which I'm going to be using because I am doing a fall look as you guys can tell by the title but all her names are so freaking unique and different and the shades I did kind of swatch and cheat it and the swatches was pretty nice I'm going to also show you guys each swatch right now so the first shade is like this nice pretty champagne color I'm not gonna go through all shades as you guys can probably tell which I'm pretty used to in each palette so I let my P Louise base dry down a little bit I'm still going to put some satin powder just to set it in place because I oh my god it's so loud. because I still do have a little bit of creasing so I'm going to go in with this Shido setting powder y'all I've been loving this powder lately I think it's like the what is um oh god I just had it the the drugstore oh what is it called artist oh my god the drugstore setting powder I have it but it's something like that I just feel like this is a little bit finer so I'm going to go ahead and place some of that on my eyelids that way it can set this P. Louise in place and it don't have any creasing. Alright, so I'm going to set my P. Louise base. Usually you don't have to set it, but I am because, like I said, I see creasing. And I just want my eyeshadows to go on pretty smooth. So, let's go back in this palette. I'm going to take this blending brush, which is a two-sided blending brush. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom y'all in. All right, so we're a little more close, up close and personal, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so first, I'm going to go in with ginger because I want ginger just to be my transition shade. Go ahead and place that. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's like a real ginger shade, too. Oh, y'all, that. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Now this ginger shade is definitely pigmented. Ooh, sister, sister. Sister, sister. So that shade was, as y'all can see, very pigmented. See, I'm trying to stick with the cool tones the warm tones you know for this fall look so I'm going to go in with let's go in with edges okay we about to snatch people's edges Ooh, sis. come on like I know a lot of times I say a lot of these shades are pigmented but this palette like for real I really don't want to mess this color up. I was going to go in with credit and go a little bit at the top, but I think that's a little bit too dark. So let's go in with Supreme, but we're not going to apply Supreme too heavy. We're going to apply her a little light, you know, even though that's more like a spring color, but we could throw a little pink in there, just a tad bit, like y'all see. I'm not applying, I'm not getting a lot of that product on the brush. And that's still pigmented. See, you don't want to apply too much. Go right on top. Because I like my eyeshadows to kind of come close to my eyebrow. Since I have hooded eyelids. We're going to go back in with edges. Because I want that crease to be a little bit darker. Like right here, my outer, and a little bit in that crease. Alright, so now today we are going to do something like a cut crease because I have not did a cut crease in so long. So 
So since we're doing the car crease, I'm going to take some of that Fenty Beauty Concealer. And I'm going to take this very, very thin brush because I don't want to mess it up. Then you want to look down at your mirror. And while that's drying, now I'm going to go back in with edges. Let's go in with Zim because it has more of a fall color and I like that. You know, gold. I like that gold popping. You know what I'm saying, Zaddy? Zaddy. That's what it sounds like. But look how pretty, y'all. Like, that is freaking gorgeous. So, we're going to see if our concealer is pretty much dry. Then I'm going to apply that ooh, with my hands. Oh my god. Yeah, I think if you guys are gonna apply it, you don't need no matte fix plus spray or any setting setting spray. Just apply it with your fingers. And I'm only applying that right in the middle. So now let's go back in with ginger a little bit, just a tad bit, and go in that crease so that shimmer won't go any higher. You don't really want that shimmer all over the place either. So since I can't apply my fingers because I have on these long nails, I'm going to go in. We already in, we already went in with this pretty pretty color here, which is called Zim. So let's go in with let's try Wiggles, just a little bit. Very pretty still. But I'm going to bring that in the crease close to my tear duct. Oh my god, y'all. Even with the brush. Oh my god. And I'm using the brush that it came with. Oh my god, y'all. These colors are jacky. Girl. Oh my goodness. Alright, y'all. So that's it for the eye looks right now. I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a little wing liner because I'm really feeling the wings right now. I've been loving this Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. And I'm not really used to using like eye pens or whatever, but I've been obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner. Alright, y'all. So I did my wing liner. It's not the best, but whatever. Y'all know how that goes. I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on. Do my full face and then we'll go over on how I really feel about this Jackie Anna collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look, as you guys can tell, I already did my makeup, did a wing liner, put on my lashes that I also got from my co-worker. Thank you. She hasn't come out with the lashes yet. She's still testing them out, but I absolutely love them. They're very full and they're giving me more of a whiskey longness to them and I just love them the band is very comfortable on these lashes and everything like that I freaking love them but let's go ahead and talk about the palette okay? I actually love the packaging of this palette I already explained why in the beginning and how nice it looks so let's go ahead and talk about all these different cool tones warm tone and shimmer shades I feel like this palette is definitely Definitely a jockey on the palette. You have her brows in there. You have some shimmers and you have that pink and purple shade that she absolutely loved to go in with. And like I said, you also have her shimmers because she's very, you know, flashy. So you have those gold shimmer shades in there and very, very pretty shimmer shades. The matte shades lived up to what it said. It's very pigmented. Also, the shimmer shades, like if you guys. See how I did that eyeshadow and that that shimmer shade came out so perfect. I felt like this is definitely a Jackiana palette. And I feel like she is definitely the GOAT here on YouTube for women of color. So, Jackie girl, you did your thing. I know you don't know me, but I feel like this palette is every woman of color maybe go to. Thank you for showing out for all women of color. We definitely needed this and you brought it, girl. You brought it. So I'm definitely trying to reach that level in my life. But anyways, I hope you all really, really enjoyed this video. 
And if you all did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to leave your comments down below what videos you would like to see from me. And please don't forget to go ahead and watch another video. Y'all know what I do. Y'all know how I do it. I'm going to leave a video here, here, wherever. I know you guys want to see another video. And if you don't, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already not subscribed. And join this Unbreakable Team, sis. <laughs> so anyways, until next time, I love you guys. Bye. Move us all, let me love me Caught up in my, caught up in my day